Hello there and welcome to another video with the lovely Molly Toy Poodle. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to talk about grooming and how to look after your Toy Poodle. So let's get right into it, shall we? First things first, we have eyes and teeth. Uh, in the eyes you get those little uh, tear marks. It's more noticeable on white dogs. But for every dog you need to clean them up every day. You can just use little uh, makeup tab or a bit of uh, cloth, wetten it and make sure they're nice and comfortable for the teeth. You can get special dog toothbrushes and uh, or you can get these little things you put over your finger, that's what we have. You can use dentist sticks as well that will help uh, but still every now and again you do need to clean the teeth. Next we have uh, plucking ear hairs, it's important that you clear out their ears, they're very liable to get infections. So it's best to keep that nice and clear, you can do that every month or so. Now for bath time, it is recommended not to do it too often, let's say they have all these protective oils, so if you wash them too often it gets rid of those oils that protect their skin. However, dogs are dogs and they do get muddy, so if need be, you do need to do it. The nail clipping, the nails need to be clipped every few weeks or so, uh, when you see they get a bit too long. Please do watch a video on how to do it properly. It can really hurt them if you get them and then there's been a few times where there's a little bit of blood coming out and they do not like it. So please be careful when you're doing this. Next is getting the haircut. This needs to be done every six weeks or so. The hair grows very fast and like we say, it does not fall out and therefore it needs to be done. You can find some nice people who can cut it into any man you want uh, every six weeks or so and then we finally come to brushing which is what we will talk about for the rest of the video that needs to be done daily and we will talk about that now now i use this brush here it was recommended to me by the pet store it's got some nice sharp bristles uh, i really seem to think it's a bit like ripping off a plaster it gets the job done fast and so there's less work to do. You can obviously use other brushes and like just a normal plastic comb. This gets the job done nice and quickly. And the way I do it, I start off one side uh, in the head, go down the body and then doing the legs. Then flip her over and do the other side. And then flip her onto her back and do the belly. Now at the beginning, when you first start doing this, the dog is not going to like it at all. There's going to be maybe biting, maybe getting angry. As you can see here, she's kind of sniffing to say, mm, I don't like it, leave me alone. But eventually you can train her to be used to it. So we do this obviously with food. Every time she gets a little bit you know, testy, and decides to sort of bite out at you and say no i don't like it and we just stop for a minute and then when she stops we gradually brush her roughly in a place that she doesn't mind so much and then when she doesn't do anything you give her a little treat to show her that's the behavior you want and now we've got to the point where we give her a treat at the end of every time and she knows this so even when i get the brush out she will come and jump on my lap and even though she still doesn't like it so much, she enjoys the treat afterwards, so she puts up with it. You obviously want to be delicate around the face, most delicate parts, the tail and the legs and the belly. This is where there's not much fur and not much muscle to protect and it does get the most tangled up. So you just want to be very careful brushing down and using your hand not to pull on the hair too much. One thing to consider if you have maybe left it a bit too long to brush your two poodle is if there are bits that are far too knotted then you can always get a pair of scissors cut out those bits because you don't want to cause too much pain to your dog. Like I say the hair grows back very quickly anyway so that way you won't hurt your dog too much when brushing. Like I say, once you've done one side, we'll turn her over, do the other side, do the belly, and then once she's all done, tell her she's a lovely, good girl, and give her a nice big treat, and she will be happy as anything. Hope this video was useful for you. 
If it was, please like, subscribe, and we'll get some more content on very, very soon. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a lovely day.